Hi guys, I'm out here dip netting in our wetlands to catch some of our common animals. Let me show you some. Here we have are whirligig beetles. You can see how they get their name as they're kind of swimming all around in circles there. If you're hiking on our boardwalk trail, you can see them on top of the water. They do dive down and take an air bubble with them, just like a scuba tank. Also, I did catch earlier my favorite insect. Kind of pour them out into my hand here. This is a dragonfly nymph. So it is a baby dragonfly. They start their life cycle out in the water and then they're going to actually molt and then turn into that adult form that you're so familiar with. A lot of dragonflies out here at Grassy Waters look for the Halloween pennant and also the pond hawk. Those are two really common species. Also, this dragonfly nymph depends on one of our really common plants here at Grassy. So you can see all through here, we have spike rush. Our dragonfly nymph is actually gonna crawl up on the spike rush. I'm gonna put him down in order to molt. The reason that he chooses the spike rush to molt on is if you look at it, it's always upright, even when I push against it with my hand. And the reason for that is let me show you what's inside this plant is because it has a really cool adaptation where it has little air chambers in here in order to get air to its roots. But this also allows the plant to stay upright. So it's really important for our dragonflies to molt on and turn into those adults that you're familiar with. All right, so just to review, we had our spike rush here. We had our dragonfly nymph. And then we also had our whirligig beetles here. All right, we'll see you next time. Come out and explore with us.